Hey y'all, today I'm bringing y'all 24 carrot Easter spring themed, mostly, it's just carrots, mostly, some bunnies. But it's 24 different crafts, decor ideas, DIYs that you can make. They're all affordable because they're like all from Dollar Tree stuff or like cardboard and stuff. Easy to make. What can I say? I don't know. Sometimes I don't know how to introduce this video, so let's just let's just get into the video. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is our gray house. Okay, I'm going to try to do this in one take, so let's see how it goes. Right now, we're taking some clothespins that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just taking them apart. I am saving the little spring part mechanism because maybe I'll do something with it later. I'm not sure. And I'm taking some wood glue, also from Dollar Tree, and I'm taking just a little dab of hot glue for an immediate hold, but the wood glue is just a firmer hold. And I'm gluing them together, I guess, outside, back to back, like that. Well, you see what I'm doing? And you're just gluing them together. And then you let them dry. I also added a clamp on each end, and I got the clamps from the Dollar Tree, and I'm taking Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin, and I'm just painting them all over. I know it says pumpkin, but there's not really, that I found, a chalk paint that's called carrot color. So <laughs> I use pumpkin because I like the color. I had some extra greenery on hand, and here's where I kind of messed up. I'm not sure how other people did it, but you see me, I'm just like trying to figure out how am I going to put the greenery on top? Because it doesn't really, like, there's not a hole to stick it down in. I guess I could have drilled a hole or maybe I could have like put the greenery on before I glued them together. I'm not exactly sure. I'll be really honest. So what I ended up doing was kind of putting a piece of greenery on each side. And then I'm going to take some, I don't know if I show this or not, but I'm going to take some twine and wrap it around several times to kind of hide the where the greenery is connected. It, it's not the best solution, but it's the solution that I did for this project. And this is how they turned out. I think they're super cute and they would look awesome on a tiered tray. The next project is going to be beaded carrots. Now I have these beads and I used various sizes and I put them on a skewer so that I can paint them. And I am using the sponge brush that I got from the Dollar Tree because it has a pointed end and it makes it pretty easy to go in between each of the beads to get, you know, it painted all the way around. Then you take them all off, but you put them kind of, you can see I'm putting them in order of size from biggest to smallest, and then I'm taking some twine. And I was gonna try to put it through that doll needle, but that's not, that wasn't gonna work. So I just put a little bit of um, either painter's tape or masking tape on the end to make it kind of firm. And here's where I'm trying to like be, I don't know, like save time, quote unquote, instead of, or maybe save on materials or something. But I'm trying to, instead of making each carrot individually, I'm putting them all on one strand and then just making the tassels and the, the cuts and the knots and stuff as I go. It's actually just, just make them separately. It's just easier in the long run, but here you see me making a little tassel and now I'm going to add the tassel to the thing and then I'm going to weed the twine back through. So that's, I guess the beads are on two strands instead of one strand of twine. See me there? And what ends up happening, instead of a green top, I'm using a tassel as the top, and I just put a little knot at the bottom to keep them together. I think it's super cute. You can make them as big or as small, or as small as you'd like. Next DIY, I am taking a frame. It was a canvas frame, but I took off the canvas, and I just am taking a trash basket from Dollar Tree, and I'm cutting out the metal material, metal mesh material. Is it mesh? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm cutting it out. And then I'm taking various colors because I'm trying to make it look a bit rusty, um, kind of like chicken wire, I guess, in a way, but it's not chicken wire. I'm trying to make it look galvanized, rusty, old, vintage. So I'm using antique wax and I'm using black and I also use brown and I think I use silver in a little bit of it just to give it, just to give it all, you know, different. Oh, I'm even using orange and green. I'm just trying to make it look not like a wire trash basket. 
and it's turning out pretty good actually. Now I'm cleaning up my space. Put a little bit more on. Now I'm putting a little bit more of that silver color on because I want it to look like chicken wire, I guess. Anyway, and now I'm going to use popsicle sticks to and gobs of hot glue to kind of put it down and connect the two together to connect the wire mesh wire to the frame because I didn't I didn't use staples I decided not to use like staples I'm not even sure yeah you could use staples but you just have to be careful on what size staples you're using just take the popsicle sticks all the way around and then to give the frame some color, I'm using some Waverly Wax in the color Antique and just using a sponge brush and kind of sponge brushing, daubing it on. I'm taking a jumbo craft stick and just handwriting on the words, Rapids Eat Free. And then I'm cutting it down to size the size that I want. Next, I'm taking some of these carrots that I got from the Dollar Tree and I did not like the little green sticking out. I mean, it looks fake to me. And so I'm substituting it for some wire greenery that I had on hand, putting some hot glue down in the hole and then putting the wire ribbon inside of it. Now, admittedly, these don't look a whole heck of a lot more real than the other ones, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. And so I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I'm going to glue all three carrots to this frame. And I just glued that Rapids Eat Free sign in the corner. I did distress it up a bit with some Jim Holtz distressing ink. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I feel like I could have gone back and distressed the carrots a little bit more. But, you know, I really like how it looks. I'm taking a little wood or piece of I guess it's balsa wood maybe, but I'm just taking this piece of wood and I'm using that mint color and giving it a base coat. And I'm kind of doing stripes. I'm not trying to be super perfect with that coat of paint because I'm going back with that adrift color that I love so much and I'm kind of making it a blended color. And then I got these buttons from Hobby Lobby. Now I had some orange buttons, but I didn't have that many. So I'm just taking out the buttons. Oh, Neo's going to help me. And I'm going to see which one I'm going to use, which ones I'm going to use and how many I need. Once I have it figured out, I start gluing from the bottom up because I figure if I mess up, at least I'll have the bottom part on and maybe I could cover the top part with the greenery. And I just kind of shape it how I want, you know, trying to make it look I mean, just trying to make it look the way that I want to. So if you try to recreate this, do you, do what feels right. And I took some of that extra greenery and just kind of trimmed it up a bit because I didn't need a whole heck of a lot. And I'm going to glue that to the top, kind of in a bunch, but not, I'm not like attaching it together or anything like that. And then I'm going to glue on that Buffalo check little ribbon there to cover up the bottoms. See, super cute. And this is how it turned out. I love it. I love the pop of color. It just looks so cute to me. This next project, I actually saw Heidi Sonbel do it. I've seen tons of other content creators create it as well, but I, I remember first seeing it from Heidi Sonbel, or at least that's my vivid memory. Anyways, taking this little pail that has jute twine already wrapped around the top. I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm just giving it a coat of um, some Waverly chalk paint. Then I'm gluing these carrots all the way around. This is so stinking easy. <laughs> I mean, you can't, it's hard to mess this one up, except if you don't really, I guess, measure how many carrots you're going to need or don't space them correctly. I mean, that could be part of a mess up, but it is just so easy to create this one and you're going to love it. See, this is how it turned out. I mean, you could put tons of stuff in it, but I've got another DIY coming up and I'm going to show you what I used mine for. All right, another DIY. So this is where I <laughs> tried to make, I could not find, for the life of me, I could not find any cone-shaped plastic bags. And then when I cut it, I'm like, no, it made like a weird heart shape. So anyway, then I cut it even more. It's like when you're cutting your bangs and you cut it too short, but you know, I'm still going to work with it. It's going to be fine. I took some of this greenery and I put the little cone shaped bag that I made inside 
a cup so that I could hold it up. And I put some green, I mean, orange M&Ms in there. And then I'm going to tie it up with a, I guess I must have stepped out of frame to go get a rubber, there I am, to get a rubber band. And I'm just tying it around to keep that secure because I don't want to stick any of that greenery or anything inside of the, where the M&Ms are. Then I'm just snipping off the greenery and I'm going to kind of pull one of the rubber band things out and tuck it underneath it. And then I'm going to wrap it with some jute twine. Y'all, this is how it turned out. Now, if I'd had cone shaped bags, this would have been even cuter, but this is a simple and easy project. Plus it's delicious to eat. All right, next project, we are going to make a mini garland. And I have those little carrots there. I probably got those from Dollar Tree. And I've got some cardboard, which I got free from a box that came to my house. And I am just measuring out how big I want my banner to be. And I'm going to be making triangle shaped banner square, not squares, <laughs> triangle shaped banner things that I'm going to put the carrots on. And I'm going to put a hole on each end because that's how I'm going to thread it to be a garland. Repeat the process as far as cutting out the cardboard until you have as many triangle shaped banner pieces as you want. Then we're going to paint the carrot part orange and I don't know what color I'm using now, but it's not pumpkin and that's captain's tail. And as you can see, I did go back and paint the tops of the carrots green. And now I'm going to hot glue on those little carrot pieces. This is easy peasy and very, very affordable because seriously, the, the carrots were like, I forget how many come in the pack, but they're $1.25 and then the cardboard's free and I already have the twine on hand. So I'm going to just glue those little pieces on as you see, I have done. I did have beads. Bead, they sell, they do sell beads at the Dollar Tree, but I had beads on hand and I'm just adding some beads in between each little triangle banner piece. <laughs> if y'all tell me this ain't cute, y'all are lying. It is, it is super cute and I hang it over my Venta hood in my kitchen. This is a Whitney and Whitney, Whiskey and Wit, Whitney over at Whiskey and Wit. She made this and I thought it was so adorable that I was making one. I was actually making one, I think for my sister as well, but you take one large carrot and you paint the bottom part orange. And then you take some of those other carrot shapes that you get from the Dollar Tree. This is all Dollar Tree stuff. And you paint the bottom part orange as well. And you're going to paint the top part of the carrots um, with a green color. I'm probably using either Kelly green or like spring green or something like that. Then to make it fun, we're going to add kind of like a salmon color and just, I'm using a sponge dauber that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm making just little circles. Now it's a circle shape, but I kind of twirl it around a little bit so that it gets real good coverage with the paint. And I'm just putting those little circles randomly all over. You're going to do the same thing with the smaller carrots. And I did use a, I used the, the size brush I was using before, but I also get a smaller sponge dauber to make some of the smaller dots. Take a white paint pen and kind of go around those dots. My paint pen, I just feels like it dries out. Maybe I'm not pressing it correctly. I don't know. So you'll see me kind of like punch it over on that little um, scrap piece of, um, canvas that I have there. And I just go around to kind of highlight those and make those polka dots pop a little bit more. With that same white paint pen, I took, I added some squiggly lines at the top. Now I'm taking a black paint pen and kind of outlining. I'm basically copying what Whitney did um, in her video. And it's not very hard at all. I mean, it's just like some lines, just, just kind of look and see what feels cute to you. Over on whiskeyandwit.com, I think it's whiskeyandwit.com. Anyway, on her blog, she had this free printable cut file. So I just cut it out with my Cricut and I added it to my carrot. Again, just like how she did. 
and glue the other two carrots down. Um, you could add more carrots if you wanted to, but I just added two and I hung it on my front door. Love it. It pops so well against that intense teal of my door. But you know, now that I'm looking at this, the grapevine wreath just looks, I mean, I know it's dead, but it looks dead. So I need to add some greenery to it to liven it up. I am taking some linen, or you know what, this might be a tarp. And I'm just kind of cutting it to size, ripping it to give it that rustic, you know, um, vibe to it, I guess, if you will. And then I'm taking some hot glue and I'm gluing around two of the sides because I'm going to be making little bags. Turn them inside out and then I'm using a little rubber stamp set that I have and I'm going to be writing the words bunny bait on the front and I put it towards the bottom because once you fill the bags you won't be able to see it if it's scrunched up towards the top so put it down towards the bottom and then you'll be able to see it a lot better. I did add some plastic bags to kind of fill it. You could use um, Spanish moss would look cute, but you kind of put them in and then tuck them down, kind of adjust them, just like fiddle with them until you like how it looks and then just tie a knot in the front. I did add just a little bow and then I hot glued an orange button in between uh, on top of the bow. I think it turned out adorable and this would look super cute on a tiered tray. I made this either last year or the year before, but I saw this online or something very, very similar online. So I made my own little template and I'm cutting it out. You could see Marvin helping me on that first part, but just take your time. If you're, if you're using power tools for the first time, try not to be intimidated. It's not as hard as you think, but just be careful if you're going to use them. So now I am going to be staining this with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And typically, I paint it on and then I take a damp scrap piece of cloth to wipe it off. And now, because mine is one piece, I think the inspo piece was like separate pieces, mine's one big piece. I'm just going to have to paint it to look like separate pieces. So I'm painting that bottom little portion with, I think the color is Adirondack. Or maybe it's just white. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a Waverly, um, it's a Waverly paint. Then I, you can see that I've made two spots white and now I'm painting this bottom portion orange for the carrot. And of course I am painting the top green. It kind of looks pineapple-ish, but you know, I've painted it to look like a carrot so you know it's a carrot. Plus I made a decal with my Cricut that says carrots for sale. So you kind of know what it is. And then I use a black paint pen to add some detail and give it some depth and dimension. And I'm hot gluing on a little jute twine bow. And y'all, this is how it turned out. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces. I just love how it turned out. I have had this wreath form in my stash for probably a billion years. And so I decided to take some of my carrots that I also had in my stash. And again, I had a ton, ton of these carrots in my stash. So all I'm doing is hot gluing all the way around. And if you're hot gluing like this, you do need to be careful. Some people will wrap it with ribbon first. So it has a lot more to stick to. I did not. My bad. I probably should have done that, but yeah, I'm just hot gluing all the way around. Like I said, I am adding a ton of hot glue but I'm not, it's not going to be handled very much. So I'm not overly concerned with the carrots falling off. But if you are wrap this with, um, some ribbon first, and then the carrots will have a lot more to hot glue too, but this is going to work just fine for me. And I'm just taking some burlap with white polka dot ribbon. It's wired ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just making a simple bow. I make two circles, hot glue those together, kind of crisscross applesauce them, and I add that little piece of as the tail. I just leave that at the bottom. Use some jute twine to kind of wrap it all together, and I use that jute twine to tie it to the Neo's helping. I use that to tie it to the wreath form. And this is how it turned out. I love it. It is on my blanket ladder. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there, but I think it turned out super cute. 
A while back, I participated in a mystery box challenge that was hosted by my friend Ellie from DIY from House to Home. And in my mystery box, I had gotten this, you couldn't even see it, but it was an Aloha sign. And I was like, what the heck am I gonna do with this like surfboard shaped sign? So my daughter, Anna, hey Anna, if you're watching, um, she suggested cut off the top, which I did, as you can see, and make it into a carrot. And I thought, genius! So that's what I'm doing. I painted it orange because, well, you know, carrots, not all carrots are orange. Some are purple. And I think this is another color too. But anyway, my carrots are going to be orange, and that's what I'm painting it. And as you can see, I went in with some different shades of orange to kind of make the you know, the little indentions on the carrot. And then I'm going around with a black paint pen to add some, I don't know, embellishment to it. And it came, the mystery box came with these leaves. Again, I had no clue what I was going to do until Anna said make a carrot. So these are going to be the leaves of the carrot. As you can see, I'm gluing them all down to this little jumbo popsicle stick and it's an aloha sign and I'm gluing that stick to the back of the aloha sign and I'm taking some brown craft paper. I like to try to finish out my projects if I can and I didn't really like how the back looked so I'm just covering it up with some brown craft paper. This little cloud shaped wood piece actually had some twine and beads attached to it. I took that off and I just painted it white and I guess I'm removing some little hanger that's still stuck in it. But what I'm going to do is make a little sign, kind of sketching it out to make sure that it's all going to fit like I like it to. Like I like it to, like I want it to, like I like. Anyways, whatever. And I'm taking a black paint pen and writing free carrots. The mystery box also came with some... Um, what kind of, what is that, tool? And so I just used it to wrap around and make a little bow. I thought it turned out cute. And then I hot glued that, fr oh, it's not free carrots, it's fresh carrots. Fresh carrots signed to the front. And there you have it. Super cute, y'all. Okay, Captain's gonna help on this one. So you know that bucket that I made earlier? Well, I'm gonna make a little mini version. Got the bucket from Dollar Tree in the like little wedding section and then the carrots of course were in the Easter section. I haven't seen them this year but I haven't really looked that hard either because I had a ton a ton of stuff in my stash so I'm just trying to use up all that I can. And I'm gluing these carrots all the way around just like I did the other bucket. And again super easy super cute but this would fit really really well on a tear tray and look super cute. I'm taking these terracotta pots that I did get from the Dollar Tree. Now, the thing about the Dollar Tree terracotta pots is they are not very, uh, I don't want to say they're not very well made, but they're not, uh, just be careful with them. They're delicate. That's what I want to say. They're delicate. So I'm painting these pots just in a carrot themed thing and I'm painting them orange and white. And I'm adding some stripes to one and I think I add polka dots to another. I'm just kind of going with the orange and white theme and I do paint some carrots on one of them, I think. Maybe, maybe more than one? At least one of them I paint carrots on there. Here you go. Little carrots around the rim. <laughs> These look adorable on a tear tray. This is another easy one. I'm taking a rectangle shape and I'm painting it with Parisian Gray by Waverly. It's a plaid product, if you didn't know. And I'm taking some square dowels that I've already measured out and cut, and I'm painting them gray as well. I'm taking the little carrot shapes that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm painting the bottom port, part orange and the top part green with a paint pen. And then I'm painting one little bunny shape that I'm pretty sure I got from Dollar Tree as well. I'm painting it white. And then I'm adding them to the little rectangle that I did and I'm hot gluing on those pieces of square dowel that I cut out previously because we're making a little picture. And that's how it turned out. Super, super cute. And it's small enough that it would fit on a tear tray or look cute in a little vignette. Gosh, y'all, if you're like me, maybe you are, maybe you're not, I don't know, but you might have a lot of scrap wood. So I took the scrap wood and I'm trying to decide how big it's gonna be because it's going in another container, but I am just cutting this down because I'm making carrots. This is just scrap wood that wasn't really going to be doing nothing. It was parts that I had already cut off from somewhere else. So I'm just cutting it down to size. 
that I want that's going to fit inside that little thing. And I just take my jigsaw. And you see me cutting off the end there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can make a ton of these for like next to nothing if you're using scrap wood. Then I'm mixing up some terracotta paint and probably some white or something to make it a lighter orange because the terracotta color that I have is just way too dark. Anyway, I'm painting the carrots all the way around and I'll go back and touch up and make sure that I've got a good coat on them. Then I'm taking the carrots and I don't know what I'm explaining to you but because <laughs> I almost always do a voiceover. Anyways, I'm going to be putting the carrot inside this vise thing and I usually use a cloth so that the vise doesn't like make too big of a dent or anything and then just tightening it up so that it doesn't move because I'm going to be using my drill to make a hole and usually what I try to do is like use the smallest drill bit and then work my way up if I need a bigger hole but this is so simple and easy to do and again power tools is not that hard Power tools is not that hard. It's not even good English. Power tools are not that hard to use. <laughs> so I found this carrot, uh, this carrot, oh my gosh, y'all. I found this bunny online. And so I'm just tracing it out on a piece of, another piece of scrap wood that I have. And I'm going to cut it out with my saw. And I usually clamp it down just so I can kind of keep it, you know, steady. And yeah, just get in the way, Lisa, so nobody can see you cut. That's, that's awesome footage. <laughs> Anyway, that's how it's turning out. I paint it white and I am going to leave a space because I'm going to be gluing that crate that you see there. I'm going to be gluing it and I like to use wood glue when it's raw wood to raw wood, if at all possible. Oh, I'm not like leaving a space like I just said I was going to. Oh, I left a little tiny space. Wow. Anyways, I'm going to be gluing down the little crate that I did stain with Waverly Wax in the color Antique, but I did leave that one side raw wood so that it would stick better. And I'm making sure that it's fitting nicely, just like I want to, or like I want it to. And I'm using that big container of paint to hold it down. And while it's holding it down and drying and setting, I'm just going to use some I don't know, is this ballet slipper? It might be. I'm just using that to kind of paint in with my fingers <laughs> the bunny ears. And this is how it turned out. Now, I don't really care for the bunny, to be honest. I need to redo his face. I just did, wasn't quite there. But the carrots, now the carrots, super cute. And I added embellishment, as you can see. Little squirrelies on some, lines on another, polka dots on another. They're so easy to make and they turn out so stinking cute. You remember that bucket that we made earlier? Well, grab you some plastic cutlery in the color green. No, you wanna, yeah, in the color green. And some orange napkins. And as you can tell, I'm shopping at Walmart. But you're also gonna need some, I'm grabbing green ribbon, but I think you need orange ribbon, to be honest. I don't know why I'm looking at the green ribbon. The orange is right next to it, grab that. And this is how we're going to make little carrot napkin bundles. So you put the um, cutlery in, kind of fold the napkin around in the shape of a carrot type thing. And you take that orange piece of ribbon and you're going to tie it off. You can tie it in a knot. You can tie it in a bow. Um, you can do whatever you want to because people are just going to take it off and throw it away. And yeah, that's how stinking easy it is to make those. Pop that in that little container we made earlier. And that's how it turns out, like little carrot bundles. I think it's super cute, and I used them for my Easter party. Take a tag sign. I got mine from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint it or stain it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique on one side. The other side, we're not messing with. <laughs> and I am kind of sketching out the bunny shape that I'm wanting to make. And I'm sure I'm looking at a picture <laughs> because I'm not, I can't really sketch just on my own. I'm not that talented, y'all. But now I'm just coloring it in or painting it in with some white chalk paint. Add some pink to the inside of the ear. And then I painted on the H and then another carrot shape. Again, I'm sure I was looking at another picture because I'm not that talented to do it on my own. And... Now I'm painting in the carrot orange, and of course I'll paint the top of that carrot green, as you can see me doing there. 
add some embellishments as you would like. You do you. If you don't want to add the stuff, you don't want to make it rustic, you don't want to make it whimsical, just make it how you like it. It's going in your house, not mine. But then I'm taking a ribbon, this pretty, pretty spring ribbon. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby, and I'm making a bow. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. And doesn't that grapevine wreath look so much better with the greenery? <laughs> I think so. All right, Captain's here to help. I have this box that my vacuum came in and we're going to be making, we're going to be making something with it. I'm taking some brown craft paper that I did get from, it might be packing paper, but I got it from Dollar Tree over by the envelopes, school supply, that area. So it may be packing material. I'm not sure, but I'm covering the front of the box. Captain's inspecting. Did I do it? Okay. Hope so. And then this is, you know, I'm not an artist, so <laughs> I'm sketching on the bunny, and I'm sure I saw this online somewhere. I'm sketching on the bunny, and, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, you know, I mean, it's the idea that counts, right? So I had to cut out the holes because this is going to be a bunny toss game, and <laughs> you're going to toss it into either the bunny's mouth or the bunny's tummy, and so I'm just using my scissors to make a hole and I'll cut all that out. But to make the carrot bean bags, take some orange felt and I had cut out this kind of triangle carrot shaped piece and I'm just gonna cut it out and I'm gonna cut it. You need at least two pieces per bunny carrot bean bag and we're gonna use hot glue to put them all together. I did take some darker green felt and I cut out some green topping but I didn't even cut that really well, but it's okay. It's, that's not the point. <laughs> so when you go to glue together the carrots, make sure that you're not like gluing them completely shut because you've got to fill them. I'm not gonna be turning them inside out. I'm just gluing them just like this, but I'm leaving the top kind of open because I need to put the green on top, but I also need to fill it. I am using lentils to fill mine. I do like lentil soup, although I, I don't think I've ever made that, but I do like lentil soup. Anyways, I'm not using it for soup today. I'm going to be filling up these little bags with these lentils, and then I'm kind of cutting that greenery topper part, the leafy green part, to fit on top, and then I'm hot gluing it all together and trying not to burn myself. And this is how it turned out. <laughs> so the idea is you take these bunny bean bags and then you toss it either into the bunny's mouth or the bunny's tummy and you get points and everybody, it's a game. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so I did it for my nieces and my nephew for when um, they were over for Easter. And, you know, I mean, I think it turned out cute. For my first attempt, it turned out really cute. One thing that I want to mention is... Um, the, there's links below like to my crafting group on Facebook. It's called crafty DIYs on a budget and Also like to some of my favorite crafting items But yeah, so check it out. It's down below Y'all Dollar Tree has these little canvas and easel sets together and The thing about Dollar Tree and just telling you um, They come in black and white also <laughs> I'm just showing you that the thing about Dollar Tree stuff is it's just not smooth. So I opened it up and first of all, that is so rough. I could not, I sanded and sanded and sanded. It was still super rough. It was just like, I don't know. It, it just was really super rough and I could not sand it smooth. And that was really frustrating. But also y'all that little canvas thing, I was going to be making reverse canvas, but even if I wasn't, this canvas thing isn't even square. It's like, like really not square. And the, I don't know. I didn't really check that before I bought it. So maybe word to the wise, if you don't mind the rough canvas easel thing and you don't mind a not square canvas, then, then buy it. But <laughs> if you do, make sure you check it before you purchase it. Now, after all of my talking smack about that not being square, I made my own and it wasn't square, but anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> and I even had a, it, I, I tried, I had the little grid to kind of go by and I still didn't make a square. So, you know, I shouldn't talk smack about Dollar Tree if I can't do it myself, right? 
So I'm gluing everything together to make a frame and I'm using wood glue to do it. And once that's done, I'm gonna cut out the canvas so that it fits, um, just cutting away the excess. But I wanna see how my little figure, I was gonna put more than one, but that looked crowded. I don't know, maybe it would've looked cute. I ended up just doing the one. It also had like a little, after I hot glued it on, I was like, oh, I don't really like that little raffia bow. Oh, hello, Neo. I didn't really like the raffia bow, so I took that off. Neo's inspecting, I guess it's okay. Oh, he's gonna play with it. Okay, get out of the way. Now, um, Neo is very, he's a kitten. He's very inquisitive. He's more curious than the other two, but the other two are older. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about, Lisa. Now we're gonna glue the frame to the canvas and then just trim away the excess. You might need to use like a um, rotary blade or something, but just make sure it's all glued down. Sand it again, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I sanded this thing so much, it is ridiculous. And then I decided, let me try to kind of rustic this up a little bit. And so I just used, I used mushroom, I used another brown color, I don't even know. I was just adding color to it because I'm like, this just looks like it's been chewed on by like some animal. <laughs> if y'all saw it real life up close, it was like, what in the world got a hold of this? But once it's done, I mean, look, that's super cute. And I added a white bow where the raffia bow was. So not much of a super transformation there, but I think it looks cute and it's going to look awesome on my tear tray. Now I saw a gal, Liz... Uh, more decal and more or something. I'll have her channel below as well as the other channels that I mentioned. But anyways, she had taken an egg and she covered it with twine and she struggled a little bit with it. So I decided, hello, Neo. I decided to take a smaller egg that I got. I'm pretty sure I got it from Dollar Tree and I'm just covering it with the twine, kind of taking my time going, I mean, I've sped this up obviously for the video, but just taking my time going around. I'm taking this Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and I'm going to be painting the carrot and what I should have done I already stuck the greenery in but and I don't know if I showed this in a second or not but for the other two that I did I actually just stuck a skewer in and then when it was dry I took out the skewer and put in the little greenery piece that was much smarter do it like that don't do it like this because I just made it a little bit harder on myself <laughs> but I wanted the rustic look so I'm just using that paint and it's not covering the twine completely I'm not trying to make it a super heavy coat or anything like that but I am trying to cover it you know a good bit and this is how they turned out. I think they turned out adorable. And it's just another take on making carrots. And I, I just think they're cute. And I talk about my tear tray a lot, but I love tear tray decor. And so this is gonna go perfect on that as well. Okay, I've got this, I've had this wreath form in my stash for forever. I don't even know if I bought it or somebody gave it to me, but I had a ton of this greenery. It's not my favorite greenery. So I thought, you know what? Let's stick that in here and let's liven this up and make it look a little fresh with some greenery. So I just go all the way around and try to fill it up as best I can. And I'm not actually hot gluing at this point, but I'll show you what I do in a second. So I did hot glue some sections down, but some were like still kind of falling out. So I just took some jute twine and I'm kind of wrapping it around using that as a way to kind of hold some of the greenery pieces in without like being like too hot gluey about it because you know I mean you can only do so much with hot glue in my opinion then it gets kind of gloppy I thought you know it looks kind of bare we need to add some carrots to it and so I added some carrots just kind of you know different ways I think I actually pull one off and <laughs> reapply it in a minute but you know just trying to to kind of make it to how I liked it, how it looked because it's for me and you make it how you like it, how it looks, you know? This is how it turned out. Sorry for the dark picture, but I took it at night. Anyways, the, I have it on my blanket ladder that I made myself. And at first I was like, oh, this looks so cute. But I'm like, that center just looks bare. So I think I bought a bunny and I'll put a bunny wood cut out in there. I think that'll kind of make it look even cuter. But I love how it turned out. This is so stinking simple. 
all of this is Dollar Tree stuff. Well, maybe the green room is Hobby Lobby, but the majority of it is Dollar Tree stuff, so it makes it super affordable to make and quick and easy to put together. One of my favorite colors, that mint color, I'm kind of doing a wash of that mint color. And Neo, oh, and socks, hello, everybody. Everybody's helping mama tonight. But I'm just kind of giving it a light wash coat of paint. Then I'm taking some popsicle sticks and I'm kind of measuring out, where did I go? Hello, oh, I'm gonna bring out the greenery. Oh yeah, because I kind of wanted to see how much greenery and how high I wanted the greenery so I could know how to do the carrot. So I'm cutting the popsicle sticks into graduated sizes. So I'm starting the biggest on top, going down to the smallest, I'm making a carrot if you haven't figured it out yet. I put down a piece of masking tape, tape sticky side up and I put the little pieces on there so that I can paint them without having to like hold them and get it all over my fingers. And I'm just, I'm, I'm painting them, but not trying to be super, you know, exact about it. While that dries, I'm taking my favorite color, a drift. It's a folk art um, decor paint. Anyway, and I'm just kind of dry brushing that color on top of the mint color to kind of give it some depth and dimension. Just, you know, look a little bit different, not so flat. I'm taking some distressing ink. I'm using the vintage photo distressing ink and I'm kind of dirtying this up a little bit and giving it a more rustic vintage vibe. I do the same thing with the carrot pieces, going around each one, getting my hands dirty in the process, but it's fine, it's art. You know, I'm making a piece. And again, I start with the smallest piece and I work my way up because I just figure it's, it's better to start that way in case things aren't centered correctly then you you run out of space and you're like oh what am i gonna what am i gonna do now and i'm not trying to put them exactly square across i'm trying to make it look a little wonky so that it just looks rustic it looks vintage it looks fun and i'm gluing those pieces to the top and just hot gluing as needed and another little buffalo check bow i love how it turned out i just love that mint adrift color behind it i love how the orange of the carrot pops off. I love the vintage look of it. Turned out super cute. And guess what? It's gonna look great on my tear tray. You can make a drinking game out of how many times I've said tear tray. Anyways, we are in the home stretch. This is DIY number 24. Did you count to make sure I had 24? Um, I counted several times. So if I counted wrong, let me know in the comments below. But I'm taking this really pretty salmon color and I'm using it as the base coat. Now I am going to be doing a buffalo check type design painting job on this, but not not how you normally do it. I'm, I'm doing it with just different colors. Anyways, this is my base coat. And you usually start out with your lightest coat, but I add some washi tape and I'm just using a piece of washi tape as a spacer, but I add some washi tape. Is it is it straight across? No, it's not, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just um, just having fun creating. And so once I get that on, with Neo's help, I'm going to take some white. This is kind of where, usually you would start out with white as the base coat and then go with the next darker color and the next darkest color. But anyway, that's not what I'm doing. I'm putting on white next and painting across like that. And then I take off those pieces and make sure it's dry helping it you either make it dry or let it dry and then just cleaning up some areas there put some more washi tape going on in the, going in the opposite direction and again I'm using the washi tape as a spacer it's a little bit wider piece but go in the opposite direction and then take another color I'm using a more vivid orange i don't know exactly what color but i'm also marking where the previous tape was because this is important because it'll help your lines be more crisp and things to work out better so now i'm painting over that and i'm going to let that dry i'm not taking off that washi tape that i just put on and now i'm adding back on the original washi tape and i'm using those little x's and lines that i marked on earlier and I'm using this adrift color. I don't know if this is going to turn out. Well, I mean, I do now, but I didn't know if this was going to turn out. I was like, you know what? Let's just, let's just go, go bold, go crazy with it, go cr cr crazy with it. And so I did. So I covered the whole thing with a drift and kind of, I always take off the, 
the tape or the painter's tape or the washi tape or whatever before it's completely dry. And here's me taking it off. Still not sure if it's working out. And there you have it. You see it over there? It turned out it turned out really pretty good. And so I'm taking those little carrots that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm painting the bottom with that pumpkin color and I'm gonna paint the top with that fresh foliage green color. And I also have some of that greenery that I got from probably Hobby Lobby because I'm gonna use that too. And for some reason I didn't show this, but I wrapped twine around it about three times and I put a little bow with a button on it and I put those three carrots, um, I put two carrots down kind of at an angle like a V shape and then I put that third carrot on top, added some twine around, you know, where the um, greenery met the, uh, whatever you call it, <laughs> where the greenery met the, um, the carrot so you couldn't really see that. And that's how it turned out. Super cute. I really love the colors I chose for the Buffalo check too. I thought, I thought it turned out beautiful. It's one of my favorite pieces out of the whole video. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank y'all so much for joining me today in my craft space. I really do appreciate the company and I hope you enjoyed the video. I tell me which one you liked. Join my crafting group on Facebook, share what you're working on. I don't know what else to tell you. I've got a couple other videos. I think they're going to be over here. Maybe over here. I don't know. They're going to be on one side of me, one side of me or the other. And um, check them out. Might be something that you'd enjoy watching as well. And I can't think of anything else I want to share with y'all. Be on the lookout. Another video is coming really soon. Probably like tomorrow. So <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, all the things. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or like over on, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or like over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye. <laughs>